Hey everybody, my name is Noah Lagle. I'm an artist here in Burlington, and today we're here at Pine Street Studios. Uh, we got a great community full of makers, musicians, and visual artists that have uh, carved out a little space here in the South End in what used to be Burlington's Public Works building. Uh, over the years, a lot of people have used this as artist studio space, and we've also hosted a lot of um, community events like the Iron Pour, and I was able to host a couple years ago the Steamroller printmaking workshop in which uh, dozens of artists ended up coming down here and making work that was sold to benefit uh, the King Street Center. And uh, I've also got my own artist studio carved out of what used to be the boiler room and today I'm going to take you through a tour of my studio practice. So come and join me. So here we are in the back of the building and as you can see we got some great natural light in here. Uh, over the years, I've shared this space with a lot of great local artists, printmakers, painters. Right now, I'm sharing it with a sculpture and installation artist. And I used to have a press housed in here uh, when I was running the Public Works Press Art CSA, in which I partnered with local artists and sent work out into the community by mail. As you can see, the space is small, so that means the press was small too. But I work for the University of Vermont as a print and sculpture tech in the studios there. And I've been fortunate enough to be able to make their facility my home base for my studio practice in printmaking. So I usually use this space for prepping my intaglio plates, cutting stencils, preparatory drawings, and burning things in the wood stove. I started burning my artwork a few years back. I found that making works in multiple really starts to take up a lot of space in a small studio. And while burning this work felt like a kind of a release, I collected and saved all the ashes, eventually grinding them up into a fine powder to use as pigment. And within my current body of work, I use this kind of a cyclical process of renewal to investigate the concept of the archive, kind of as a meditation on impermanence, inheritance, and the construction of memory. Most of the formal elements of this work reference analog systems used to organize and preserve printed media. Things like accordion folders, highlighted text, and splayed books. I start working by drawing from observation. I like to think about how each mark goes through an act of translation going from eye to hand. And these drawings get translated again when going through the press as paper stencil monoprints. And then I continue to build layers until I'm left with a kind of a time capsule. A physical marker for a particular time and place. Since the beginning of the stay-at-home order, I haven't had access to a print press, so over the past few months I've had to reimagine my art practice. I try to think about works on paper as objects that inhabit a space, rather than just images that represent space. So in the past I've experimented with embroidered elements and bookmaking as ways to provide a more tactile experience. These small paper sculptures are again inspired by accordion folders. I've really enjoyed seeing what kinds of irregular forms can come from these corrugated architectural elements. And a lot of them end up reminding me a lot of seashells or baskets, and so I've started to think about them kind of as containers or vessels of some kind. So thanks so much for following along on this studio visit with me, and I really hope you're out there staying safe, and hope to see you soon.